Hello and welcome to SimpleScuba.com. In this session we're going to look at the new Santo D6i, great new dive computer, so let's have a closer look. So have a closer look at the D6i, it obviously replaces the D6 from Santo. Some overall improvements on the unit, it has the option to have wireless integration with your cylinder, so you can buy a transmitter which is sold separately and it can link the two and obviously just display your pressure on the gauge. Got new, new all internals um, for the electronics, so which uh, encompasses obviously the wireless transmitter, but also has improved accuracy on the um, sensors. The compass has been upgraded as well, uh, which has a, a greater tilt angle. So there's lots of great things um, that have been improved. The outside cosmetics are very similar. The uh, only differences really are how the um, gauges are displayed up the side, so your, your alarm rates and things like that. They've changed slightly in this particular model. So as you see here, it's in time mode. If we have a closer look at some of the functions. To uh, change any of the settings in a particular mode, you just hold down the down button. That takes you into a sub menu. And through here, you can cycle through these options just by pressing the up and down buttons. Very, very easy to navigate. So in here, we've got adjustments for the alarm, for the time, dual time, so if you're in uh, a different time zone, date, units, so imperial metric, backlight as to how long it stays on or if you don't want it on at all. Contrast is new on these particular models. You can adjust the uh, darkness of each pixel, so if you want to make it darker to e for easier to see, you can obviously do that, or make it lighter if you want to extend the battery life. Tones, obviously you can turn the uh, alarm beeps off, and the version information is just displays the particular firmware version that is on, on this unit. To uh, go into any of these modes, just highlight the one you want, and press select, and then here you get the particular configurations for that option. To uh, obviously adjust it, you've got the up and down arrows, and then to cycle through each option, you can just press the select button, and it moves off to the next option. Once you get back to the main menu, you can press the mode, and it takes you back to the uh, mode. If we go through into some different modes, by pressing the mode button repeatedly, you can cycle through the different modes. And then you've got sub menus as well by pressing the up and down arrows. So if we go into the dive air mode, the beep is just uh, an indicator that the beep is working. It will also check the screen and the battery condition as well. Now the screen can be configured. You get down the bottom, you can use the up and down arrows to just change the display option or the information that's displayed on the screen down the bottom. So on the up button, you can see that it's got CD, which uh, when the transmitter is connected, will show your pressure gauge. So we can cycle through different information, time, pressure, maximum depth, temperature, lots of information you can see on there. And again, you can change the units and everything else from the dive mode as well, just by holding down that, dive, that down arrow you go into the settings for the dive mode itself. And again, you can cycle through here the different options, stop information, alarms, tank pressure, the pairing of the transmitter. So lots of things you can actually change in there as well. And then again, mode to come back to the main screen. So if we move on to the next screens, so we've got the plan mode. In here, you can see the information based on your previous dives as to how long you can actually stay at a certain depth. So it's showing you your no decompression limits. Obviously it's a full decompression computer, so it will show you your, your stops and times required at those stops to uh, safely exit from the water. But to see at a glance how long you could actually stay at a depth, you can use this information. By pressing the down arrow, we can increase the depth and it starts to show your no decompression time limits. So very useful information. And if we move on, we've got the memory. We've got lots of different 
um, histories in here. So you've got history, logbook, and in the history, you can change between scuba history and free dive history. This is basically a brief overview of the dives or free dives that you've put on here. It will show you your total allotted hours, maximum depth, lots of information like that. And again, the same on the free dive as well. That information is obviously stored when you choose which dive mode you go into. And if we go back and select logbook, in here is all where your previous dives are stored. Obviously this unit hasn't got any dives stored on it, but you could see each individual dive and the profile of that dive just by selecting it. And you can run through the whole dive, see depths and temperatures, things like that, alerts. Uh, very useful information uh, before you start to do your log. And then pressing mode again, we come back to the time mode. One last feature to have a look at, which is accessible from the time mode or the dive modes. If you hold down the select button, it will be entered into the compass. Now the compass again has been improved. Not only is it obviously rotating, but it is also tilting as well now. So you can actually tilt it to a great angle and it still be accurate. Obviously it's a, a massive improvement over um, some competitors, but also its previous um, predecessor in that it has that accuracy at that angle, so you don't have to be so precise. You can set waypoints in here as well, so if you know you're going out on a bearing, as any other analog compass, you can set your waypoint, and it'll point you with an arrow to see uh, where that waypoint is, and you can obviously rotate, and as it comes into view, the bar will move to the center for you to lock on. It's a very useful feature, that. And to get out of the compass mode, you just press the mode button, and it takes you through to time.